George Capito painted this scene in 1960, depicting the street leading up to the hill to the Cincinnati Art Club. And now, 53 years later, 86-year-old George and his bride Mary drive his van loaded with almost 90 paintings up the same street for a retrospective show of his vast work of fine art. The Cincinnati Art Club was proud to sponsor this exhibit for one of its illustrious alumni. My Wife, My Inspiration, an exhibition of paintings spanning a career by George Capito. Well, come on in while we hang this show. It was impressive to see all the paintings lining the floor, ready to be hung. After a powwow of how to organize them, we started hammering in nails and gently hanging the show. Mike McGuire, catching up with George here, is a past president and lifelong friend and colleague of George. Steve Nassano, one of George's students, was happy to help, along with Milton O'Dell, who knew George from the old days. And I'm Roger Hoyk, your humble narrator, who's tickled and honored to be part of this exhibition. And now, the much anticipated opening is at hand. 6 p.m. Friday, March 22nd, 2013. George is sharing with Mike a drawing of himself done by a buddy at Sketch Group 50 years ago. A handsome rascal, if I say so myself. Well, the doors are open, and friends, family, and visitors are starting to come in and enjoy the show. Judith Affetato and Ray Burt, two board members of the club, admire the first painting that sold, a precious little portrait. Steve Nassano a student of George's back in the 70s and a board member of the club now always has a smile and a kind word.
Sesco Lacroix, a club member, volunteered her culinary talents for George and Mary with these festive and delicious treats, from salmon debris soaked in Kahlua to shrimp wraps. Just looking at these treats tickles your taste buds, doesn't it? It's heartwarming to see George enjoying himself and sharing stories with old friends and new ones. No one is enjoying the evening more than Mike, who keeps warning visitors not to pet the cat. The big guy is Todd Channer, our current president, who made the exhibit happen by passing a resolution to honor George in his wonderful career and the 27 years of service he gave to the club. From the left, we have Ann Channer, my lovely wife, Ro, Mary, George, myself, and Todd in the background. After 67 years of marriage, their love is still as strong as ever. Barb Pryor, one of George's first students, listens as he talks about painting with a palette knife.
No, these guys are not the starting line for the Bengals, but they are good friends and past students sharing fond memories with George. Steve, a guard at the Lebanon prison just north of Cincinnati, stops in after work. All too soon, this three-day show has come to an end. We have had large crowds all three days, and memories and stories were shared and told with feeling and camaraderie and love. Now all that's left is to settle up with all the happy purchasers who will go home with a great piece of fine art and a daily remembrance of George and Mary. With the accounts settled, George's students all pitch in and help carry out the remaining paintings and pack them lovingly in the van for their trip back to Kentucky. One of his granddaughters waxed eloquently and unabashed about a walk and talk she had with Grandpa recently. As you can see, she was just bubbling about the time they spent together. This van was packed full when it arrived. Looks like a lot of people went home with a jewel. The van is packed and everyone is finding it hard to say goodbye. But finally it's time to go back down Parkside Place leaving warm feelings behind in our hearts. See you soon, dear George and Mary.